Okay, so now <coughs> we will go for uh, approximate match. Okay, fine. So um, as as usual, we will learn it by doing it. So uh, we write the function, the VLOOKUP function, with an approximate match. So uh, let's say I want to find out the price for product ID four hundred. So my I'm, I'm looking up with 400 so 400 is my lookup value right where do i look for this is where i look for correct column index number is three as you know uh, you know uh, price is the third column okay and here now we have the <coughs> fourth parameter range lookup so we have obviously false or is that match now we want to see what is what happens if if uh, if if we give true? Okay, so we can write true here. Now remember, we had I had told you that uh, the range lookup is within third bracket, which means it's it's optional, right? Now whenever you find a parameter which is optional in Excel, you will know that you you will obviously be able to already be uh, already have guessed that uh, there is a default value right so if you do not provide any value for range lookup there has to be a default value and that default value is true right so vlookup if you do not provide a fourth parameter vlookup will always do an approximate match because the default is true if you want excel to do an exact match you will have to provide the fourth parameter and specify false or zero right so that is that is why that uh, that, that is that is uh, the the explanation for that third bracket within uh, I mean, uh, on both sides of range lookup okay so here it is so this time as i said we will go for true right now when you write this and press enter right you get 575 uh, a quick thing before we move on to how it works instead of true if i give one right same thing and as i told you if you omit if you do not give anything at all it is it takes it as the uh, uh true as the <coughs> fourth parameter Okay, so let's specify uh, the fourth parameter is one, and let's now try to understand how uh, this thing works. Okay, now as soon as you press enter, Excel will start looking for 400 in column D, the first column, the leftmost column. This is what we have already. Look up. We'll reach this point D4, right, and then start looking. Okay. Now remember the question that VLOOKUP asked itself in the case of an exact match. The question was, is 100 equal to 400? No. The next row is 200 equal to 400? No. Next row and so on and so forth. Right. That was for false or exact match. This time, the question will change. This time, the question is different. Now, this is where you have to be very careful. So, please listen to this carefully. The question that we look up asked itself now is, is 100 less than equal to the lookup value? That is, is 100 less than equal to 400? Yes, it is. Then go to the next row. Is 200 less than equal to 400? Yes, it is. Next row. Is 300 less than equal to 400? Yes, it is. Next row. Is 400 less than equal to 400? Again, yes. Next row. Is 500 less than equal to 400? No. 
So this is the first time VLOOKUP encounters a NO as the answer. Okay. As soon as it encounters a NO, it will go back one row. Right? It will go back one row to the previous row. And now VLOOKUP realizes that this is the row from where I will have to pick up the price. So this is the row. Now, the rest is the same as exact match because I have specified column index number as 3. So 1, this is 2, this is 3. It gets 575 and returns 575 as the answer. Okay? So, what do you see here? If the lookup value if the lookup value is present in the first column there is no difference between exact match and approximate match it's the same thing they are the same there's no difference right let me repeat this if the lookup value is present in the first column or the leftmost column of the table array then both exact match and an approximate match the work I mean, they give you the same result however the difference is in the way they work and this is extremely important you know, as we will uh, see in a moment whereas for exact match the question is is the value equal to the lookup value in the case of approximate match the question is is the value less than equal to the lookup value right so there is that is the, that is the difference now let's try this for something or our value which is not present in the first column 250 right now remember we have done this before but just so, so that we, we can refresh our memory if I change this to zero now exact match with 250 what do we get we get the hash any error because we have seen that 250 is not there what happens if i make it approximate search or approximate match here we see that there excel returns a value excel is no longer or vlookup is no longer returning an error it's, it's returning a value right which is 200 now let's see how does it work so it will it will start from D4. Is 100 less than or equal to 250? Yes, it is. Next row, is 200 less than or equal to 250? Yes, it is. Next row, is 300 less than or equal to 250? No. Go back one row. Right? And then give the value from the third column, which is 200 which is the result that you have got so if the lookup value is not present in the first column then vlookup with true and vlookup with false are different they are very different with false you will get an error right because it says that the value is not there or the hash any error with true get that approximate match right so what you get essentially is the price corresponding to the product ID which is the largest value less than equal to the lookup value okay so here to see now let's say let's say try try with 350 okay so lookup value 350 so in the product ID column what is the product ID Right, which is the largest value less than equal to 350 which is clearly 300 right so you get 300 because 300 is the price of product ID 300 now with 450 what do you get what is the largest product ID less than equal to 450 which is clearly 400 right and so therefore you get the price corresponding to product id 400 which is 575 
correct and that is the essential difference between uh, uh, range lookup of 1 and range lookup 0 okay? uh, or, or <coughs> the approximate match and the exact match. Now if you have closely followed how VLOOKUP works, you will immediately realize that given the way VLOOKUP works, the, the, the data in this product ID column will have to be arranged in an ascending order, right? Because if it is not arranged in an ascending order, you will get wrong results. So when you are using VLOOKUP with approximate match, it is your responsibility to ensure that data in the leftmost column, or the first column, is arranged in an ascending order. If it is not, then you will get, uh, or, 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 you know, uh, I should not use the word will, you may get erroneous, erroneous results. So please, please be very careful with the proximate match. Your first column must be sorted in an ascending order. Okay, because you know it, it clearly follows from the way we look up uh, approximate match works. Okay, right now if you look at uh, the the you know if you read books or you know the health manuals and so on and so forth uh, on on we look up, you will find uh, that with approximate match, it's 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 it's, it's given in most books that in with approximate match, you will get uh, the largest number less than equal to the lookup value, which is what we have seen right now. So you, you do get the, the, the largest value less than equal to the, the lookup value. But what happens, what happens if there is uh, you know, a duplicate ID? For example, let's say I have two 400s, right? So I change 500 to 400, right? This is, this is unlikely because this is ID, right? Product ID not possible to have duplicates in the ID column, but this is just to kind of you know, help us understand better the way uh, 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 the, the approximate match works and the exact match works. Now, if I say 400, look up with 400 exact match, what do I get? I get 575. Why do I get that? pretty easy. You start from default. Is 100 equal to 400? No, it's not. Is 200 equal to 400? No, it's not. Is 300 equal to 400? No, it's not. 400 equal to 400? Yes, it is. I stop. I need not go further. I stop exactly here. I've got my uh, first match, the first occurrence of 400. So I stop here and I return the price as 575, which is what you get as the result. Now, instead of an exact match, if I make it an approximate match and I, and I cannot change it to 1, then you see the result is 600 and not 575. Okay, why is this? Because VLOOKUP with true will work differently. Now, again, let's, let's, let's look at how does it work. I start from 100. Is 100 less than or equal to 400? No, it's not. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, it is. So, is 100 less than equal to 400? Yes, it is. So, move to the next row. Uh, 200 less than equal to 400? Yes, it is. 300 less than equal to 400? Yes. So, next row. 400 less than equal to 400? Yes. Next row. 400 less than equal to 400? Yes. Next row. 600 less than equal to 400? No. So, you move back one row. But remember, you move back only one row. So, reach the second 400 right reach the second 400 and return 600 as the price okay so this is this is how these two uh, you know will, will uh, the, the exact match and the approximate match differs and it's, it's in, you can un understand that only if you realize how we look up works so if in the case of duplicate uh, numbers I'll must remember that with approximate match you get the last match right and with an exact match you get the first match so that's the f f exact match is the first occurrence approximate match is the last
that stuff. 